In example one, uh, we're simply rolling a die and looking for the mean. So the possible outcomes for x are the possible outcomes when you roll a die, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So in order to look at the probability distribution, we also need the p of x's. So the probability that you roll a 1 is 1 out of 6, assuming the outcomes are equally likely, which is what we're going to assume here. Uh, that's an important idea in this example. Uh, since the outcomes are equally likely, which is not typically going to be the case when you're looking at a discrete probability distribution, but since they are in this case, this is really equivalent to doing what we did uh, back in chapter 12, whenever we simply summed up the x values and divided by n. If you want to check that here, you can. Um, but in this case, we want to find the mean. Uh, so we're going to do that by using the formula for the mean for a discrete probability distribution. That formula is mu equals sum of x times p of x. So what I suggest you do in these kinds of problems is just create yourself another column over here that is x times p of x. You'll notice from the formula that we should multiply before we sum. So we should start by taking each x and multiplying, multiplying it by its corresponding probability. So 1 times 1 sixth is 1 sixth, 2 times 1 sixth is 2 sixth, 3 sixth, and so on. So those are my x times p of x values, and then basically to get the mean, all I have to do is sum these. And if I sum these, I will get 21 over 6, which is 3.5. So my mean, when I roll a die, is 3.5, and it's really as simple as that. You will always create the same table, create the column of x times p of x, sum that column, and that is your mean in a discrete probability distribution.